Hello Superset Maniacs and welcome back to my channel. 4 top 10 finishers from last year's 2023 Mr. Olympia won't be competing in the 2024 Mr. Olympia. The athletes who placed 7th through 10th are out this year, including big names like Michael Crizo, who is recovering from a shoulder injury, Tonio Burton, who qualified but dropped out for personal reasons, Regan Grimes, who I believe opted for a long off-season to prepare for a serious push toward the top spots, and Charles Griffin. Furthermore, we have Big Rami, the two-time Mr. Olympia winner, who hasn't officially retired yet. There was speculation that he would compete this year, but then he officially announced he wouldn't be doing it. Until he officially retires, his name will always be in the conversation. Of course, we can't forget about Nick Walker, probably the biggest name who won't be competing this year. He was a guaranteed first callout competitor. I had predicted him in third place and was hoping for more because I'm a fan. You all likely know his story by now, so I won't go into too much detail. We also have two top 10 level athletes who qualified but can't compete due to visa issues. Berus Tabani and Nathan Diasha. Nathan has competed on the Olympia stage before, so I'm not sure what the issue is with the US government. Beruzi's situation is even more frustrating due to the tense relations between his home country, Iran, and the US, which makes it very hard for Iranians to enter the country. Hadi's case is special and I believe his sponsor had something to do with it, but don't quote me on that. Two fan favorites, Blessing Awadibu and Patrick Moore won't be at the Olympia this year either. Blessing didn't compete this season and Patrick failed to qualify. Other former Olympians who didn't qualify include Andrea Presti, Mohamed Shaban, Hassan Mustafa, Justin Rodriguez and James Hollingshead, just to name a few. Some other former Olympia competitors who didn't compete this season include Steve Kuklo and Max Charles. The list could go on and I admit I'm not fully up to date on the status of all these athletes, so don't quote me on that either. Over 74% of you watching my content in the past 28 days aren't subscribed. Imagine where we'd be if just half of you hit that button. It cost you nothing. Let's hit 30k subs, thank you and God bless. Now we also have Rubil Nexila Mosquera. I know you guys love to hate on him and probably for good reason but there's no denying that a condition Nexila would crack the top 6 at the Olympia 100%. He's an anomaly. With his unreal mass he could even win the whole thing but that's another story. Anyway, I want to focus on the athletes who, in my opinion, would have been top 6 material and potential first callouts. Of course, Nick Walker is the biggest name, as I mentioned earlier. A conditioned mutant would have undoubtedly made the first callout and could have even been a threat for the top spot. Next, Big Rami. I know he's past his prime, but I feel like he got a raw deal the last couple of times he competed. His 2023 Arnold Classic showing would certainly deserve a top 6 spot in today's lineup in my opinion. Michal Crizo placed 7th last year and was improving year by year. A 100% Crizo would definitely be in the same conversation as guys like Rafael Brandao, Hunter Lobrada and Martin Fitzwater. He can beat any of them, so he's certainly top 6 material. As I mentioned earlier, Nexilla would be a top 6 contender if he came in condition. It's a big if, but unlike most others, he doesn't need years of training to build mass, he just needs the perfect prep and he could perform miracles. The last guy with top 6 potential who won't be at the Olympia is Baruz Tabani. In my opinion, he would have been battling it out in that second callout alongside Rafael, Martin, Hunter and Brandon for sure. Let me know what you guys think. Is this list of absentees stronger than the Olympia lineup? I'm not talking just physiques, but also marketability, popularity and greatness combined. Let me know in the comments below. Also make sure to like for the algorithm and subscribe to stay up to date with my Olympia coverage. See you next time.